Hey everyone, Claire from Roundtable Studios here. Here's a quick tutorial on how to get your Blender camera animation into Unreal Engine 5 without any plugins or add-ons. I even tried to see if there's an easier way to do this and I came across this video which had an add-on to help, but it didn't help me whatsoever. So I'm going to use it as an FBX, an FBX camera to Unreal Engine 5. So here I have my Sora and Sasuke animation with all this great camera movement. And you want to select your camera, go to File, Export, and export as FBX. When the window shows up, under Limit 2, select Selected Objects so it's not the whole scene. I leave the object types alone, but for good measure you can select Camera if you want. I leave Baked Animation checked and then touch nothing else. I mess with the settings around before and the default options will give you everything just fine. Hit Export FBX and name your camera. Once it's finished exporting, open up your Unreal Engine 5 scene. For my shot, I use the same environment in Blender and in Unreal so the animation will line up and should move around the same way. You want to create a cinema camera actor and place it in your Unreal sequencer. Once you've done that, right click on cinema camera actor and select import. Find your camera FBX file and click open. An import FBX box will open and we will have some import settings that are pretty important. What you want to do is uncheck match by name only, which has the name suggest, will only import the camera if the file name matches the camera name, otherwise you'll get an error message. I also uncheck force front x axis since Blender uses the x axis instead of the y to go front to back. I leave convert scene unit checked and I uncheck create camera since we already have a camera. I leave replace transform track and reduce keys checked and I'll show you why after we import the camera. Once you click import, you'll see that your camera has the Blender camera animation on it, including the focal length animation if you animated it too. By default, for some reason, Unreal Engine has the camera set to standard def, but if you check the details panel in your camera and under film back, change it to 16.9 DSLR and it'll be the HD camera setup that matches Blender. Going back to import settings, if you turn off replace transform track and reduce keys and click import, two things will happen. You'll notice that your camera movement isn't entirely right and there's a lot more keys on the timeline. Bringing in the FBX has its own transform track and for some reason, Unreal Engine gives you the option to keep the transform track from the initial camera, but that just screws with everything. So to fix this, you could either delete the transform track or make sure it's checked uh, on the import settings. And then reducing keys keeps the keyframe keys from Blender instead of the big keys. If for some reason, once you bring it to Unreal and you need to edit the camera, it'll be much easier with the keyframes and then the big keys. If you wanna know how to bring your own character into Unreal Engine, make sure to click this video here. And if you're ready to start animating and you need some tips on how to get started, these videos will help you out. And I'll see you over there on those next videos.